If you're a fan of The Witcher games, then you'll likely be very familiar with the name Andrzej Sapkowski. He's of course the creator of the Witcher novels that CD Projekt Red based their games off of. On one hand, Sapkowski is celebrated for his work, and few can deny his talent as a writer. On the other hand, the guy has not proven himself to be particularly likable, especially with all the shade and resentment he's thrown around after he realized what a missed opportunity it was for him to not get more deeply involved in the games, which he thought were going to fail. The guy has a long track record of expressing just how little he thinks of games as a creative medium, which is why when he sat across the heads of CD Projekt Red in the early 2000s to make a deal about licensing the Witcher franchise, he decided to forego royalties that the studio offered in favor of a one-time lump sum payment of what's reported to be around $9,000, believing this would ultimately yield the most financial gain. You all know the rest. The Witcher series would grow to become one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time and a commercial success that would pave the way to CD Projekt Red's rise to prominence, with the company now worth billions of dollars. Sapkowski has come to regret his decision in light of the company's success, having told Eurogamer the following on March 24th, 2017 in an interview. I was stupid enough to sell them rights to the whole bunch. They offered me a percentage of their profits. I said, no, there will be no profit at all. Give me all my money right now, the whole amount. It was stupid. I was stupid enough to leave everything in their hands because I didn't believe in their success. But who could foresee their success? I couldn't. So basically, he made a gamble and he lost. It's unfortunate, but both parties came to an agreement, and that should have been that. But then, on October 2nd, 2018, we learned that CD Projekt Red received an official demand for an amount of Polish currency that translates to roughly $16 million, threatening legal action should the company not comply. While Sapkowski's lawyer wished to keep this quiet by threatening CD Projekt Red with the possibility of investors seeing the situation in a negative light, the studio immediately let everyone know about the situation on their website. According to the statement, the studio received a letter from Sapkowski on October 1st 2018, demanding payment of additional royalties beyond what had been contractually agreed upon. The statement also called the merits of Sapkowski's demands groundless, while assuring that the company acquired rights to Sapkowski's work legally and legitimately, with all agreed upon payments having been discharged. So all of this occurred back in October 2018, which means it's been around four months since this all began, and we haven't heard a peep about this whole situation since. That is, until recently when Polish news outlet and Radio published the following article on January 11th, 2019. Worth keeping in mind is that what you're looking at here is the Google translated version of the article, but it seems to be good enough that it conveys the basics. The headline of the article reads as follows, Sapkowski and CD Projekt Red close to the settlement in the matter of 60 million Polish currency. Officially, the creators of The Witcher are firm in the position that the agreement on the acquisition rights to the world of The Witcher and computer games with Andrzej Sapkowski is binding and there is no question of additional benefits for the writer. Unofficially, you can find out that the parties are close to reaching a settlement. Scrolling down, the outlet conveyed more exact details about a potential agreement between the two parties. Having obtained this information from another outlet going by the name Pulse Businessu, which told Anti Radio the following, the arrangements between the parties are ongoing. You should receive information about the solution within a month. There is a chance for a settlement, but this is not yet a foregone conclusion. Apparently, one thing that CD Projekt Red is absolutely resolute on is that they will not pay Sapkowski 60 million Polish currency or 16 million dollars. And I say good on them. Again, keep in mind that both parties came to an agreement all those years ago, and CD Projekt Red even offered to give Sapkowski royalties instead of a lump sum payment, which the author turned down anticipating the games would fail. CD Projekt Red has no obligation to shell out that kind of cash, nor should they give in to any demands that come their way after boundaries and agreements have been established, lest they open themselves up to further similar threats. From the sound of things, the deal the two parties struck was transparent, and there was no foul play involved. It's just now that Sapkowski's understanding the depths of his error in judgment from back then that he's seeking to bitterly demand some sort of recompense. However, despite tensions between CD Projekt Red and Sapkowski, it does seem as though they are coming to some kind of accord, even if not 
not monetary in nature. According to this next quote provided by Pulse Business U, a resolution between the two might come in the form of appreciating Sapkowski's work, his character, his talent, and his potential by allowing him to help and consult in the company's creative endeavors. If that's really on the table, that's honestly not a bad idea at all. Say what you want about Sapkowski, but his talent as a writer is undeniable, which is something that any Polish fantasy reader will tell you. So the two parties being able to bury the hatchet and collaborate towards a common goal sounds like a pretty damn good outcome. Nothing set in stone for now, with a final agreement seemingly occurring within the month, but it's good to know that an amicable resolution is at least on the table. It's certainly far more ideal than the alternative, which is a legal battle that will culminate in wasted time, money, and resources, as well as in the widening of a rift between two prominent creators. Now, one thing I'd rather not see is Sapkowski try to exert his influence on CD Projekt's potential future Witcher projects, if those are indeed planned. It's one thing to consult, offer advice, and provide creative input, and it's a whole other thing to try to steer the ship. I feel like it won't really come to that though, assuming this deal comes through, as we are looking at a potential relationship that's akin to the Netflix Witcher series that's currently in the works, which is being helmed by a Netflix crew with Sapkowski acting as a creative consultant for the show and being part of the creative team but not necessarily spearheading the whole project. I see no harm in Sapkowski contributing in a similar manner to CD Projekt Red's Witcher endeavors, seeing as he is the creator of the Witcher series and could offer valuable feedback about the world and its characters. The article finally concluded by emphasizing how, according to CD Projekt Red, over time Sapkowski had received more than 35,000 Polish currency or $9,000 from the studio. Apparently, after the initial agreement, several contracts for consultations were signed with the writer, though exact payment amounts were not disclosed. While Sapkowski wasn't getting royalties, as both parties agreed upon, he was contracted from time to time with additional payments involved. So yeah, that's where we're currently at with this situation. CD Projekt Red won't pay up, and rightfully so, but they may bring him on board to be a more active part of the company's creative efforts. Again, it's good to see that this might be all resolved peacefully, and I feel like CD Projekt Red is being more than fair under the circumstances. If you read through the threatening letter the company was sent, it's not hard to get the feeling that the tone Sapkowski's lawyer took was that of downright extortion, going as far as threatening CD Projekt Red's standing with investors and the company's reputation in an attempt to strong-arm them into handling this in an expeditious and quiet manner, though that certainly backfired. We have seen CD Projekt Red be Started in the past, with one incident back in June 2017 involving leaked Cyberpunk 2077 files that an unidentified individual had illicitly managed to come into possession, who made a demand for ransom, saying that should the studio not comply, the files will be released online to the general public. CD Projekt Red did not cave to those demands, taking to Twitter to get ahead of the story, inform everyone of this situation, and emphasize that the leaked documents are old and largely unrepresentative of the current vision for the game in case the worst comes to pass. And this all garnered them mad respect. Even better, whoever the perpetrator was never ended up leaking those files, so it was just an all-around win for the studio. CD Projekt Red seems to be dealing with their present situation just as gracefully, being transparent about their circumstances while aiming to reach an amicable and fair resolution for all parties involved. Instead of throwing Sapkowski overboard despite his petty antics, it would seem as though the company's trying to find a way to work together without giving in to his unjustified demands. And I'd like to think that Sapkowski's also trying to meet them halfway at this point. After all, it would be a shame to see discussions break down and their relationship devolve given they both contributed greatly to each other's success. Without Sapkowski, Sapkowski's work to take inspiration from, CD Projekt Red might have never risen to its current level of prominence, and without CD Projekt Red's games, the Witcher novels might have never garnered widespread international appeal and fandom, at least not to the current extent. So the hope is that everyone ultimately finds a way to move forward in a manner that's agreeable and ethical, and hopefully Sapkowski will finally begin to appreciate the prowess of video games as a creative outlet. 
I also hope that Zabkowski can start being a little more grateful about his current renown, because he's really not in a bad place. Sure, he could have been significantly richer, but it was his decision, his gamble, that lost him that opportunity. CD Projekt Red offered, and he denied. He acts as if the studio screwed him over somehow, when deals were struck transparently, and when the Witcher games have since bolstered the popularity of his work, paving the way for things like the Netflix deal. Metro writer Dmitry Glukovsky expressed similar sentiments to Russian news outlet Ostrog back in October 2018 by calling Sapkowski an old fool who fucked up and an ungrateful schmuck who in large part would not be where he is without the success of the games. Harsh words indeed, but not entirely untrue, and the sooner Sapkowski can focus on how his work became so widespread and came to inspire so many, rather than live bitterly that he isn't a few million dollars richer because of his own blunder, the better off he'll be, I think. These are one man's opinion on the situation anyway, I'd love to hear what your take is on reports of a potential resolution between Sapkowski and CD Projekt Red in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update and discussion video. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.